Wie reduziert man den CO2-Fußabdruck eines Films oder einer Fernsehsendung? Das europäische Green Screen Projekt vermittelt Verfahren für eine nachhaltige audiovisuelle Produktion. Acht Länder nehmen bereits daran teil. Doch wie hoch ist die CO2-Belastung wirklich? Well, it's much easier to change the mindset of filmmakers uh, than the policymakers. It's a long-run pro process and it doesn't happen in one day. But uh, throughout the duration of the project, uh, it's, we managed to, to change the mindset of both filmmakers and policymakers. Our case is a tool that helps uh, measure the carbon footprint of uh, each film production. Uh, it's uh, a tool that is also available at no cost. Also the uh, Audiovisual Fund, the Slovak Film Commission, offers some kind of financial bonus, but it's a pretty new one uh, for the filmmakers that decide to uh, shoot in uh, according to the guidelines. How many 5,000 euros, yeah. In uh, many European countries, you know, like uh, UK is uh, way ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, Belgium is uh, quite ahead, you know, in this terms of France, uh, they have these other tools that also uh, were in place uh, before green screen. So these are the countries that already work this way and they uh, find it more natural. So this was also the meaning of the partnership that, you know, like the stronger partner can help the partner that doesn't have that much experience in this field.